Christian and David Stone, More Vino Limited. Having only an idea and no experience, school teacher Christian Stone and his brother David Stone, both in their early 20s, decided to get into the wine retail business at a time when rum and scotch were the liquors of choice. Ten years ago, the market for wine was a bit different than it is now, you know, and there really wasn't too much education. In fact, I myself really hadn't consumed much wine in my life, but I kind of liked the direction that the country was going in, in terms of, you know, heading a little bit more upmarket, and, you know, I thought that wine would be a, a good area to kind of, you know, try to educate people, create an awareness, and, you know, maybe develop something that wasn't, wasn't already there. So we had kind of started with the wine retail store, which uh, didn't do exceptionally well. And then, you know, we kind of moved into the Morvino area, where it is, you know, we kind of did service on site and, you know, use the wine retail store as a platform to serve wine to guests on site. Strongly believing in just doing it, the journey which has led to the now popular Morvino restaurant was based on a fluid business plan. Christian recalls. A guy had come in just randomly off the street, an uh, expat, and said, you know, I want to have an event here on Friday. Well, I'm going back to, you know, my home. I, I want to have a couple of friends. So he came and they had a little event and we did 5,000 in sales. So I'm like, all right. So we did the entire business in one night with one, one event, you know, and it kind of was a, a light bulb that went off and said, all right, maybe this is the direction that the, the market wants us to go in rather than just to be, you know, another Angostura or Fernandez type, you know, retail store environment. Selling their car to raise the capital needed, along with support from family and friends, considerable courage and perhaps an entrepreneurial sixth sense that the winds of business were changing, Christian and David took the plunge. We had already invested all this money into this retail store, so to kind of have to turn around the concept you know, was difficult because I, I didn't have any money to begin with. So the money that I did have was invested into the store, already, so to change the entire concept was tricky, but I think very necessary. Christian and David have been instrumental in developing both the sophistication of local wine tastes as well as the expansion of the wine and cocktail market. They have seen wine taste develop from the very sweet to dry over the last decade. While Christian admits that he loves competition, the Ariapita strip boom led to the recognition by Christian and David that they had to continue innovating as in any growing industry. So it was on to their next venture. The sushi market was at an infant stage when a trip to Japan and their own love for sushi drove them to explore this market and more sushi was created. They have been trendsetters in this segment and are proud that a number of the current sushi players have worked in their establishment. This, however, created significant competition and so they decided to compete head-on by expanding their distribution network through the Sumo Sushi brand. A major driving force for Christian and David is the ultimate responsibility that their 100 employees rely on their success every day. We had faced some very difficult times early in the business, you know, we had lost a lot of money, our concept wasn't right, you know, we were very green, just, just two kids basically kind of running this show, and we were insolvent, so we basically had more debt than we had assets. To date, the Stone Brothers have expanded their business successfully from a small wine retail store to a wide distribution network through their Sumo Sushi brand. Morvino now has two locations, Ariapita Avenue and San Fernando. Today, the business is the local leader in the production and sale of sushi. Christian and David have not been afraid to learn from their mistakes. Their imagination and adaptability have allowed them to bounce back and to keep trying. Christian Stone has bold advice for young people thinking of new business ventures. You know, one of my favorite, favorite pieces of advice actually in Trinidad is from the lottery vendors who say, you know, if you don't have a ticket, you don't have a chance. You know, you can't be lucky and coward. And if it is you're not trying, well, then you're not going to make it. So instead of thinking about it, just, just do it. Just get out there and do it.